What's up guys? Welcome to another video and welcome to a house tour. A lot of you have been asking for this. Uh, it's been a long time and now finally, welcome to my house. I'm going to show you all around. There's a, uh, it's not a huge, huge place. So uh, it's not going to be the longest video in the world, but I love this place. I've been here for over six months now and I split my time between Geneva in Switzerland and here we're literally on the border of France uh, and Monaco basically. Uh, and yeah, so I've been spending a bit of time here recently, but I also love being in Geneva and spent a bunch of time there, as you guys know. But I thought I'd show you around this place, which hopefully is not too, too messy. It's a bit messy out here. This is my little like uh, entrance patio place. Garden. So, yeah, garden. We've got, uh, <laughs> they're like proper little French cafe uh, tables. They were here when I moved in. Um, and we've got also, this is, this is like the heart of the house, the lemon tree. So many lemons here, which I give to basically anyone who comes over, they always leave with a little party bag of lemons. And uh, they're actually like huge mutant lemons. I don't know if you can... <laughs> okay, right. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a massive... Anyways, that's not of interest to anyway. We've got a barbecue in the here, which obviously winter time is completely covered up. And that's really fun in the summer here because it gets quite warm. And then come on in. Come into the house. Now, the house was actually built in the 1940s and then was completely renovated about a year ago. Um, but this is it. This is like the main, this is the first floor of the house where you have this kitchen. I love this kitchen. So I've got a big thing um, for gadgets. So I love like, for example, this gets me all excited. To put the extractor fan on, it is a remote control and it's not working. There we go. <laughs> is this how you do house tours? I never, I've never been good at house tours, but We'll keep going. I don't know what you guys want to see. Um, yeah, half of the stuff I brought down from my place in London, which I obviously moved out of when um, the, the whole pandemic happened. Uh, and now we're here. I've added things like little photos of like me and my family and friends. There's these kind of all around the house, upstairs, down here. This, if you're wondering what this is, it's like a little incense thing which runs all day, so the house smells nice and fresh. Uh, what's in the fridge? Alcohol. <laughs> it's quite good. There's wine, champagne, and then uh, there's not that much food actually. There's just bacon and broccoli. But yeah, no, I order out a fair amount, but I enjoy cooking. I'm getting more and more into cooking. So this is it. Oh, this is my apron. Chef Seb. Balls of the sauce. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's quite nice because it's quite nice and bright. You've got these big windows uh, around on this end, and in the summer, this all opens up and kind of makes this all connect. I'm thinking about putting a hot tub in the corner there. Let me, I've been saying this for about six months, but hey ho. Dining table. Okay, glass dining tables. I had one in London as well. Got one here. They look sick. Such a nightmare to maintain and clean, but there we go. Um, and then you come through to like the, this is the chill out, chill out zone. This is actually a little fireplace. So like real flames, not, so you put little wood pellets in here and then this goes on, which now in winter is, is super nice. Sofa. A big square sofa, so you can properly lounge out when you watch a movie. And um, sofa bed as well here, so there's been people crashing. Um, yeah, this is my little record player, vinyl player. So I got super into this, and this is where I like will stop um, all the vinyls. I got some for Christmas from um, from my parents, which is really nice, super exciting. Um, so I need to get through listening to all of these, but I've been super into that recently. This is Wolfgang. <laughs> Wolfgang, who was with me in London and came down here. I don't know why we called him Wolfgang. And um, we went to a garden store to buy plants. And there were no plants that I liked. But I ended up leaving with this guy. So that was pretty random. Little basketball. Ready? One shot kill. Every, every person who comes in the house needs to give this a go. Static. Okay, cut. Oh, there you go. You try. If you get, I will actually be very good. Oh, cool. Little, little toilet, downstairs toilet here. So when you've got guests over, they don't need to go upstairs. This is it. I really like this. Like, I'm super happy here. It's like co just about cozy, um, cozy enough. Um, so it, it's like modern, but often with modern places, it then gets um, a little bit cold feeling. Whereas here, I don't know. I feel like it's sustained, that kind of nice little feeling. If you turn around, you'll see there's more photos like all over the place. Um, which just makes it a bit more homey. And then you come upstairs in the toilet. I don't know how long this is going to be because we're, we're almost done. Um, this is upstairs. 
So two, two rooms. So this is uh, the bathroom. No bath for anyone who's asking, so I guess it's not really a bathroom, is it? Technically. Um, little, I don't really know what this space is. Just a little space. Toilet here. Voila. Uh, this is, um, so like spare room. So the bed's out now because there's been people staying over. But this is, yeah, like spare room. And um, oh yeah, there's a little bit of the view. But originally, what well, usually what it is, is there's cameras here and it's a studio where you've maybe seen us film a few other videos. So this is where that happens. So we re you actually did this, you repainted the wall. Um, we got these plant fake plants, I'm not going to lie to you, they're fake plants. And there's a little lamp hanging from the ceiling. So yeah, this is like, yeah, film studio. We're thinking about doing a podcast, making this into like a little podcast room uh, slash spare room. Um, so there we go. And then we've got my room, which, okay, so this is one thing which needs changing. <laughs> it used, I had doors on the cupboards, and the doors broke, so now I have no doors on the cupboards, but it forces me to keep it, like, nice and organized. A uh, little simulator here, which is so dangerous, because the amount of times I'm, like, about to get a really nice early night, and I come up here, and I'm like, oh, just one lap, and you always end up spending two hours on it afterwards. And little desk, which... I'm not going to lie to you, it doesn't get used that much because usually we're working downstairs. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Is there anything else to show? I really like this because it's like a little house. So you're not, because I've always been in apartments. This kind of um, switched things up because you're more, much more independent than when you're in an apartment. And um, it just feels homey uh, living here alone. And it's like plenty, plenty, plenty. But for me, I'm super fortunate. And it just feels surreal, like, to, to be here. And I, so people have, you've seen it on Instagram, and I got a lot of messages on Instagram asking, you know, do a house tour, do a house tour. So I figured, why not? This is maybe the right time to, to get this done. But now, you've seen my house, you know where I spend a lot of my time when I'm not in Geneva, it's here. And I'm, oh, look, no, also, just quickly, this is how I get around most of the time. Two little electric scooters. Two, because... You often find yourself taking it, and then when you have a friend, it's just a bit awkward because you don't want to walk, and then they want to let you take this. So that's why I've got two of these. Oh, and also, a little hidden wine fridge. Cool little gadget. Um, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's completely different to, to how we would usually film. No cars in this video. But I uh, just thought I'd show this to you. And of course, thank you to you guys because it's uh, in part thanks to you guys that uh, I'm able to be fortunate enough to, to live somewhere like this. So I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing well. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Cheers. Bye -bye.